Hey, what up you guys? This is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Stash. And uh, in this video, I thought I'd do something a little different. Uh, I wanted to show some of my drawings I've done. Um, I love to do like poster art, um, like that VHS type of style. Uh, I love like painting, drawing, and basically like I mix painting and drawing together and kind of like airbrush a little bit and yeah. So here we go. Alright, so this is just going to be a couple of the pieces I've done. Just kind of a quick video. Alright, first up, we got Frankenhooker. And I love this movie. As um, soon as I was done watching it, I was like, I gotta draw this. Because this movie is hilarious. Uh, this guy brings his girlfriend back to life. Or tries to, but um, he has to get all the body parts from prostitutes. And they, to do that, they explode. I just had a blast watching this. This is done with, um, what I do? I did, I airbrushed the background. Um, then her face, I did like pencil and some watercolors too and like some ink. And I think her, her body was done with gouache. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, next up we got Danny Trejo. <laughs> And I'm a big fan of Danny Trejo. I think he's one of the most underrated action stars working today. And I was like, I got let me do a piece with this guy because he's got such a crazy looking face. Um, yeah, again, mixed media background done with some airbrush and some uh, pastel, like the purple part is pastel. And um, painted his face and. What you see there, like the marks, is done with eraser, actually. Like, you erase a little bit. Yeah. Marker on the hair. All right, next up, we got my friend Heather. Um, yeah, I did, like, a splatter effect on the background. Um, color pencils and... Paint. I did this one back in 2017, so I would, I don't remember what I did. All right, then next up we got E40, one of my favorite rappers. And uh, this piece was the first time I tried pan pastel. Um, I did all my regular tricks, and then I plus I added a uh, pan pastel to it, and it turned out really cool. Yeah, one of my favorite rappers from the Bay Area. Yeah, now let's look through my sketchbook, see if I got anything good in here. Yeah, we got Pennywise. Tim Curry was so good as Pennywise. And they got like the reflections on the teeth. If you really look close up at it, you can kind of see like where it was like the color pencil strokes and stuff like that. See, and they put like a little bit of paint for the eye reflection. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Alright, this was a commission piece. Uh, <laughs> this girl wanted me to draw her dog. Her dog's name is Judge. Uh, and she wanted me to draw her dog Judge with Judge Reinhold from, you know, like Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And do a poster called Tell It to the Judge. Um, this was one I started and I kind of messed up, so I redid the whole thing. Uh, but I still have, like, the mess-up one. Alright, uh, this was a sketch I started. Um, I did a different piece on this. This is Jason choking Donald Trump to death. Alright, uh, then we got Nathan Fielder from Nathan to You. <laughs> or Nathan for You, I mean. Uh, this show is hilarious. Uh, I was bored one day. I was watching this show. I was just like, let me draw this guy while I'm watching. And this piece is nothing but pencil, color pencil, and marker. I didn't do any paint, and this is all just like basically pencil, ink, and color pencil. 
So you got like the colored pencil on that white part right there. Um, some gray undertones, that's like the regular pencil, and then you draw the ink over it, color it. All right, then we got a slice of pizza. Um, it turned out okay, not my best work. All right, then here we go. We got the singer Shade. I love her music, and I was like, let me draw her because she's so beautiful, and I love her music. And I did this piece in black and white just because I got lazy and didn't want to do a whole color piece at the time, but I think it turned out good. Uh, the background is marker, and that contrasts the f her face because her face is uh, only done with pencil, except for on the eyes. The eyes are done with um, ink, and that's why they're so dark compared to like, like the clothes and stuff. All right, then we get a gremlin in a Freddy Krueger costume, and. Uh, I love gremlins, I love Freddy Krueger. The gremlins are always dressing up in like people's clothes and stuff, so I was like, let me combine these two characters. All right, and last up, this is not my last art piece, but this is the last one for this video. I did an Ernest poster. <laughs> yeah, here we go, Ernest P. Whirl. And I, growing up, I loved Ernest. I was like, man, Ernest is one of the funniest guys ever. And, you know, sadly he died. And I was like, what what would be a good Ernest movie that I would love to see if he was still alive? And I thought of Ernest Wins the Lotto. And I think that would be such a funny movie if Ernest won the lottery. If he won it from a scratch off of all things. <laughs> uh, and then I threw in some other 90s people. I threw in Sinbad. And Julie Brown from MTV. And then, of course, you got Chuck and Bobby, who are always in the Ernest movies. And then his dog Rimshot from Ernest Scared Stupid has to be in there. Yeah, there we go. Jim Varney. All right, you guys, this is Danny B. You've been watching the Trash Dish. Uh, let me know if you do art. If you do, I want to see your art. Uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Peace out.